Hi there, welcome to 1000 English Grammar Test Practice Questions from Next Gen English. Uh, as you can see, these are questions 1 to 20, so uh, hopefully we're going to start with the easier questions, but don't worry if you find some of them a bit difficult or um, you know, you're not sure about them because maybe there are one or two in there that you know uh, might be a little bit more tricky to figure out, but uh, on the whole, uh, most of them uh, are, well, beginner kind of questions uh, dealing with uh, simple uh, grammar topics. Okay, so let's move on to the first question then, which is Mrs. Allen, something a secretary. So our options are is, am, are, or be. Okay, so this should be quite straightforward, uh, quite an, a simple question to start off with. So. Um, naturally, we're, we're looking for which verb uh, goes in here. So we should start with uh, looking at the subject of the sentence. So the subject of the sentence is Mrs. Allen. And of course, Mrs. Allen is going to be a she. So when we have she, we just have to look at what verb or what form of to be goes with she. Of course, it should be she is. OK, we, can, we can't say she am or she are or she be. So she is, is uh, the, the answer here. So the first answer is A. Mrs. Allen is a secretary, all right? For it to be am, we would need to be I. This, the, topic, uh, the subject would need to be I or R. It would need to be a you or a we or a they. And of course, we, we don't use B in this, uh, in this way. So let's move on to question number two, which is my car something blue, it's black. Okay, and our options are aren't, am not, not, and isn't. So we have uh, quite a few different options here. We need to look at, this is very similar question to question number one. So the, the simplest thing to do here in this case is just to look again at the subject. Okay, so the subject of the sentence is my car. Now my car, what pronoun would we use to describe my car? Of course, we would say it, wouldn't we? So it, and then we just have to look at which verb, which or form of be goes with it. Now, that should be quite obvious. It is, okay. It is blue. All right, so let's see if we have any is here. And we do which is uh, option D. Of course, it's not is on its own, but it is, isn't. However, we can't say my car aren't because it's only one. We can't say my car am not. And of course, we don't have B with option C. So of course, the correct answer here is D. My car isn't blue, it's black. Okay, let's move on to question number three. Question number three is, these cakes something delicious. So our options isn't, are, am, or wasn't, okay? So this should be same process again, same process. We're looking at the subject, and the subject here are these cakes. So these cakes, of course, are they, okay? They are a group, and we're outside of that group. So with they, the form of to be is, R should be R. So we're looking for R in our answer. Of course, the only option that we can choose here is B. So these cakes are delicious. Okay. So question number three, these cakes are delicious. Question number four, Jack and Jenny, something at home right now. Okay. Our options are weren't, isn't, aren't, or wasn't okay. Now this may be a little bit a little bit more um, thinking to do here. All right. So let's first of all look at our subject. Now you might possibly want to say, okay, Jack is the subject. All right. But we have to make sure that we take or think about this word here. And so what we actually have here are two people, Jack and Jenny. So our, so our subject is actually a group. So Jack and Jenny, we're not in this group. So again, um, to describe Jack and Jenny, we would say they. So 
We know it's not going to be isn't, and we know it's not going to be wasn't, because isn't and wasn't are what we would use for singular uh, subjects, okay? He isn't, she isn't, or it isn't. Same with wasn't, okay? So it's going to be aren't or weren't. Um, so we need to make sure that we understand the whole sentence. So Jack and Jenny, something at home right now. Okay, so this is important here, right now. So weren't, of course, we know this is for the past. Okay, so weren't is for the past and aren't is for, we can use for now. We can use aren't for now. So weren't and now, they don't go together. They cannot. So the answer must be aren't. So the co correct answer is C. Jack and Jenny aren't at home right now. Okay, question number five, James and I, something cousins. Okay, so we've got am as an option, isn't, is, or are. James and I, something cousins. Okay, now, again, similar to the last question, the previous question, we need to look at the subject. Okay, so we, we know we have and, so James and I. One possible trap that it might be easy to fall into is to look at this I and say, ah, I am, okay? But they don't go together here because the subject is James and I, all right? So this is a group. So again, this would be uh, we, okay? Because I am in the group. So if we have we as a subject, then the verb to be becomes are, okay? So we are, so we're gonna have to look for are here. And of course, option D is, uh, the only one that contains the verb are. Okay, so uh, the, the answer to question five is are. Question number six, the doctor something late for her appointment. Okay, and our options are were, not, she, and was. Okay, so the, again, let's go through the same um the same process. So the doctor here, in this case, we know her, we can see her here. This is quite important. So the doctor is going to be she. And for she, we can, well, we've got something different here because we're actually, we've actually kind of changed the question type now. So before we were looking at uh, is or am or are as the answers and at the moment, we're looking at, it looks like we have different answers here because there's no is, there's no am, and there's no are. Okay, so it's going to have to be one of these. So she were, we know we cannot say she were, okay, because were goes with you, we, and they. You, we, and they were, okay. And I, he, she, and it will go with was. Okay, so she was. We know we have to, if we're going to use B here, she was late for her appointment. Okay, so we've got the answer already. Okay, the doctor was, we, we know we can't say she, she, late, so... The doctor was late for her appointment. Question number seven. Two of my friends something good at tennis. So we've got were, isn't, they, or was. Okay, so if we think about the last question that we just answered, we know it can't be was because here the subject is two of my friends. So this is a group. So if we use a pronoun to replace this subject, we're going to use they, okay? So they, if it's they, then we can't, we cannot say was, and uh, we're not gonna say they again twice, are we? And of course, isn't is for singular. So of course, the answer here is A, they were good at tennis. Question number eight, you something able to do it properly. So am, was, weren't or wasn't. So we don't have to change this to a pronoun. We already have a pronoun here. So we just need to look at which verb to be goes with you. Of course, with you, as we said before, we would use are, you are, 
but we don't have are here. Uh, so this is a past tense question. You weren't able to do it properly. So instead of using are, of course, we use were, like we explained uh, before. So you were not, you weren't able to do it properly. So uh, we have two was here, which we can't use was with you. And of course, not am. So the answer for question eight is weren't. Okay, question number nine. Is there something, somebody at the door? Okay, so we've got were, was, weren't, or are. So slightly different question here, or slightly different um, sentence structure, because we're starting with there, and of course there is not the subject here. Uh, we could say we could use all of these. There were, there was, there weren't, or there are. All of these are correct, and of course that's because this is not the subject. The subject is we have to look for it, and it's somebody. Okay, so somebody is going to be a he or a she. So he or she, of course, we're going to use is or was. So it was not were. And it's not weren't and it's not are. Okay, so it's clear there was somebody at the door. So let's move on. Question number 10. You said that you something hungry. You said that you was hungry. You said that you weren't hungry. You said that you isn't hungry or you said that you is hungry. So here we have to look for the subject again. Of course, the subject is you, and what goes with you are, or were. And in this case, we're looking at the past again, so it's not going to be was, or is, or isn't, so weren't. Very straightforward, this one. You said that you weren't hungry, okay? Let's move on to question number 11. Question number 11, Kevin something his email every morning. Kevin check his email, Kevin checking, is check, or checks his email every morning. Okay, so this is, uh, well, it's a present simple sentence. Again, we're talking about routines. Okay, so every morning. So we, of course, we need to know the rules of a present simple sentence here. All right, so let's look at our subject. It's very important. Subject is Kevin. Kevin is a he. So now in this case, with positive present simple tense questions, we need to remember the rule that we have subject, which if it's a he or she or it, okay, the verb takes an S. The verb takes an S, so we're going to have to look for a verb here, if we can find one with an S, and of course, it's checks. So Kevin checks his email, because Kevin is he, and when it's the subject is he, in the present simple, we need to put that S with the verb. So Kevin checks his email every morning. Question number 12, the hungry ducks, something lots of noise. So let's, uh, well, let's look at the options. We've got makes, making, make, or are make. So four options here. Of course, let's do what we usually do and look at the subject. So the subject of this sentence is the hungry ducks. The hungry ducks, we're not a duck. So we're outside of the group. It's a group. So this is going to be they. So they, what goes with they is, well, here, we're, well, it's a slightly different kind of sentence. So we're not looking at B. We're not looking at B, a he or she or in it. We've got different forms of make, okay? Makes, making, make, or are make. We know that we're not going to use this S because, remember, that's only for he, she, or it. Are make, we don't need are because this make is the main verb. So we don't use the main verb with be together in, in in that way, like are make. We don't have uh, these two words together like this. We can say are making, that would be fine. But we don't have 
this uh, this form of the verb with be together in any sentences. So we know that this is not going to be correct or isn't correct. And like I said, we would need R to go here, R making, and we don't have R, so it cannot be this. So of course, the hung this makes sense, of course, the hungry ducks make lots of noise. Let's move on to question 13. I something pineapple pizza. I doesn't like, I am like, I not like, or I don't like. So this question, uh, in this question, we're looking for the verb. We're looking for the main verb, I something pineapple pizza. Of course, uh, it's going to be like, it, lo it looks like, because all of the options have like. Uh, we've just said as well that, well, if we look at B, we know it's not going to be B because we don't have the verb to be with this form of the verb. They don't go together. So we can rule that out straight away. Doesn't is only going to go with he, she or it. So it's not doesn't like. Uh, not like. Do we have not like in this form? No, we don't. We don't use not like uh, after the subject like this. Uh, to use not, we're going to have to use the verb to be as well. OK, so it's... Uh, quite clear then that the answer is don't like. I don't like, we have the verb and then we have don't as a, uh, to negate it. So I don't like pineapple pizza. So the answer to question 13 is D. Okay, question 14, uh, we something to go shopping. All right, and our options are we are want, we wants, we wanting, or we want to go shopping. Um, so same thing again. We're looking for the main verb here. Um, we know it's not going to be our want. So we've got kind of a theme going here. We should uh, know by now. So uh, this form of the verb doesn't go with the verb to be together. We, we don't have this. So our want is not going to be the correct answer. Uh, once uh, we have this uh, plural S here. Oh, sorry, not plural. We have this, uh, uh, this S here. So that would go with a he, she, or an it. And of course, the subject here is a we. Is not a he, a she, or an it. And of course, wanting, we're going to have to have uh, is, am, or are uh, here. And we have neither of those, and that wouldn't go with wanting anyway. So, of course, the answer is we want to go shopping. Let's move on to the next one, question 15. Richard always something his hands before eating. Richard always washing his hands. Richard always is wash his hands, washes or wash. Uh, so we've got the the first answer, washing. This should be quite straightforward uh, by now, going off the last few questions. So washing, we're going to have to have, we've got the ing here. So it should be is, am or are. Um, but that wouldn't make sense anyway. And we don't have is, am or are. So this is not correct. Uh, Richard always is wash. Same again. Uh, we have the verb to be uh, along with uh, this uh, form of the verb. Uh, so they do not go together. Uh, Richard always washes his hands. So Richard, if we look at this subject, of course, is he. And naturally with he, remember, we have to add this s. Uh, to the verb, uh, in this case, washes, we also add in an E as well. But uh, in this case, yeah, uh, this would not do because there's no S at the end for the he. So, of course, the answer to 15 is C. Richard always washes his hands before eating. Okay, so question 16, something your homework. We've got four options, do, don't, does and did. So very short, of course, this is, uh, I suppose we can tell already this is an imperative. It's telling us uh, to do something. So it should be quite easy, this one. I think the answer is uh, quite clear straight away. But anyway, so this, this is, of course, this is do. But let's go through the reasons why these are wrong. Okay, so don't, we can't use don't. We're going to have to have a verb after don't, like don't do your homework or don't take your homework with you, whatever. And we don't have a verb here, so it cannot be don't. Uh, for does and did, of course, we're going to need a, a subject to uh, go with these uh, because uh, that would make your homework the object. Uh, 
and we don't have uh, another subject here. So if we said, for example, he does your homework, that would be fine. But we don't have he and he did your homework or she did your homework would be fine. But of course, we don't have those. So, of course, very easy. This one, I think the answer is do. Question 17. Something press that button. OK, so going quickly um, again, we've got does, did, didn't or don't. Very, very similar to the last question again um, for it to be does. Uh, we would need a subject again. So somebody does press that button, but that would have need a special context, I suppose, uh, to make for that to make sense. So it's not does. Uh, somebody did press that button. OK, so we don't have the subject here again before did and didn't is going to be the same. So, of course, this is a negative uh, or an, an imperative telling us not to do something. So the answer to question 17 is don't. Question 18. Leah always something her best. Leah always doesn't her best. Do her best. Does her best or try her best. So Leah always, um, Leah, we look at this subject, of course, Leah is a she. So on this verb, whatever it is, we're going to need an S. So verb plus S. Um, so we know it's not going to be try and we know it's not do. So it's does or doesn't. Of course, Leah always doesn't her best is uh, nonsensical. So. The answer is clearly does. Leah always does her best. Okay, question number 19. They knew what to something. They knew what to doesn't, to does, to did or to do. So this one should be very, very simple to answer. Um, because we have this here to, so to something, uh, we're going to use a verb here. So um, the only form that goes with two of the verb is the base form. OK, so two and it should be do. We never say to does or to did. Uh, so we can rule all these three out straight away. And of course, the answer to question 19 is D. So the last one, question 20, the taxi driver, something have a license. We've got do, doesn't, don't or isn't. And uh, first of all, what we need to do here, OK, is look at the subject and the subject is the taxi driver. So the taxi driver is going to be a he or a she. And we've got here the main verb have. OK, so he or she anyway, we know we cannot use do because we would need an S that would have to be has uh, and it's not. and you know, do and has, it, we, we don't put them together anyway. OK, so uh, we we know it's not don't either because the taxi driver, he or she, we, we, we would need the S. So possibly doesn't. Uh, but could it be isn't? Well, it couldn't because, again, we've got is and have, which are two uh, verbs which do not go together. Is have, we cannot say. OK, so it's not isn't. So, of course, the answer, the taxi driver doesn't have a license. Which is probably not uh, the best situation to be in. I wouldn't advise or recommend getting into a taxi with a taxi driver who doesn't have a license. So thanks again and uh, be sure to subscribe uh, if you're not sure or if you need practice with any of the grammar mentioned in these questions, in these 20 questions, then, of course, you can always have a look at the Next Gen Guide to English Grammar. Uh, but other than that, feel free to move on to the next 20 questions and make sure you subscribe again to this channel for more.